14 minutes in the final six games of the previous series against the Dallas Mavericks. I think athleticism quick laterally so much, but it's, not, it's never going to be enough to keep you between the lines. You're, you're going to have regular season minutes. Different deal here. A free, free shooter who did a lot of work during his shoulder injury. Wow. Fix that shot. What a shot that was. What a tie loser. George stops behind the three-point line and knocks down another one. In game three against Dallas, I'll say it again. Paul George responding with a big-time game. Rory Gobert off the law from the end. From an athletic family, Mitchell on the drive, off oh, glass. Good. Come on, Donovan. Mitchell with a high degree of... They got a three-on-two. Man, side pocket three. Kennard, got it! Turnovers. Mitchell... Hits it over to O'Neal for three, and O'Neal knocks down the jump shot. It's a 10-point game. It's off the court as well. George with a crossover inside. Off glass! Over the top of Gobert. Quickly up to Leonard. Eurostep got it. And the lead is back up to 14 with 8.06 to go. So man back in the rotation. Batum gets the start. The big story on .com today by Kevin Pelton about Ty Lue's rotations. Wonder if this is sort of a look the Jazz will face from here on out. Something. As his body is going back toward the floor. And he is a dynamic athlete. And he's limping towards the tunnel right now as the Clippers get a bucket at the other end. Down it. That's an inauspicious sign for the Jazz. Mitchell limping, favoring that right side. As Lisa Salters, no doubt, will try and get some information for us. There's a look at Dwayne Wade, one of the Jazz owners. Perhaps unaware of Mitchell's situation right now. But remember at the end of the previous game, a couple of nights ago, Doris, Donovan Mitchell slammed a chair. He was so mad at the fact that he had... Looked like re-injured that ankle, which forced him to miss 16 games at the end of the regular season. But he also had that moment where he sort of tweaked his ankle between the lines. That'll be the type of injury, I think, that sort of sticks with you, yeah. you know, for a bit. Let's take one more look at him coming down, and it's the right one. He favored it. Although it didn't look like he landed on it too hard. Maybe it was the plant that can sometimes cause that. He didn't even want to plant. Yeah. That's the interesting thing on that replay. That he didn't want to put the right foot down. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's played 32 minutes in this game. Leaves with 30 points. One more look. Watch. He went up okay on it, Doris. Yeah, yes, but watch the hesitation, right? And does Favors clip the back mm. of his foot? Uh, stretching it out on the bench with a little over six and a half minutes to go. Paul George at the free throw line. He has come with his best effort this afternoon. 31 points as they continue to take a look at Donovan Mitchell. Now they've made the comparison of Donovan Mitchell to Dwayne Wade. But Donovan's jump shot ahead of where Dwayne yes. Wade was at the same time in their career. Wade well, didn't have a three-pointer until the last couple of years of his career. A consistent one. Even he would admit that. Well, Donovan's trying to go bully ball against Kennard. Hey, Kennard's been lifting weights, too. 15-point lead. Kawhi over to Batum. What do you do here? Is he, is he pleading with Quinn to let him go back in? Having a deep conversation there on the sidelines while Leonard tries to make up Quinn Snyder's mind for him and say, just keep him there for the next one, coach. Well, and he, as they made that three, that was when Kawhi, uh, Quinn kind of pushed Donovan back down the bench. Lead is 18. Clarkson takes out his do-it-yourself kit. 
Kicks it to Bogdanovich. And he left it short. Things looking a little bit dimmer right now for the Jazz. Leonard. Cross court for Batum. A catch and shoot three. Butter. Or should I say Balmer? <laughs> The Clippers, 18 made threes on 33 shots. I said in the first quarter, though they were down 0-2, they had actually created more wide-open threes than Utah. Ty Lu told us on our phone call he was quite comfortable with the shots they were right. getting. They are 55% and 55% from two and three. Great point, Doris. They just had that stretch. I'm staring down Rudy Gobert, going to pull it out, and... Rose O'Neal helping out. Quick crossover. Oh, big body, big bends. Kawhi Leonard. <laughs> he has put on a clinic here in the second half. That's going to be a foul, an offensive foul against the Jazz. And Joe Ingles upset at that call. Well, Kawhi has got Rudy Gobert on him. They're communicating out front, and as they're commuting, communicating, Kawhi is crossing them up. Mm. And then how about the ability to protect against a shot blocker? Excellent use of the left hand. Kawhi lands just with systemic precision, lethal precision, always stoic looking and just goes out and gets it done. 32 points. And as good as Rudy Gobert was last game, remember he had 20 rebounds.